Hey everybody, I know it's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, so I kind of quit playing WoW for a little bit. I actually just logged on today just to uh, take all my gold and send it to one character and really just have no urge to play it anymore. So I picked up Rift, as you can see. It's actually it's a lot of fun. Um, it's very WoW-like. It has a lot of WoW features, which I actually kind of like and I think uh, makes it interesting. Um, so I'm just going to go show you through the process of making a character, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I haven't decided who I really like, the Guardians or the Defenders. So i just go through the Guardians, because right now I'm playing a... Well, I have a, a Defender, Rogue, slash Hunter. We'll get into that. Um, so it kind of has... I don't know if you've watched one of them. If you went back and watched that horrible video where you can't hear me really well of uh, uh, my City of Heroes Online review and it uh, kind of has those features of customization. God, that is guy is fucking retarded looking. Let's go, with a, let's go with a high elf. Okay, so this is the great thing about this game. I know probably everybody only knows this, so I'm probably just speaking to the choir. So here's your four basic classes. Um, and that's kind of cool, but what's great about that is then you have the subclasses. On the RP, PvP, server, sun something, I have a mage. And it's, uh, um, well, we won't, we'll go, go to get to that later. Matter of fact, I might just log on him to show you the tree. So, this is the customization menu, the customization menu of uh, Rift, which I think is pretty cool. You can, just like um, City of Heroes, you can change all the looks to the characters right down to the um, uh, scales of their eyes to the colors of their eyes which really just doesn't matter in the long run but I guess if you really want to be um, picky about it you can do that to the different shapes of your eyebrows um, nose and all that stuff so you have a lot of really good customization for this game and what your character looks like the only problem with the elves you can't like really like my hunter rogue slash hunter is an elf and I really tried to hide her ears but that didn't work out too well um, choosing hair color is really good the palettes choices you get are, are really nice and the fact that you can give them highlights um, and then you get your preset hairs oh is that fucking Justin Beaver wow anyways um, so you got all this stuff <clears throat> sorry and choose your tattoos, whatever, on this character. Or you can just fucking randomize it all up. Oh. Anyways. Um. So that's your customization. Uh, it's it's really right down to it. You ha I like that you have a lot of choices to choose from. The way you can really make your character visually different from everybody else's. So everybody's not running around the same. Um which is nice kind of gives you a different look you can cho really choose your hair color and all that I think that's really good because it does give you some quote unquote uh, individuality in the game but you know like most of these kind of games everybody's gonna wear the same armor uh, the one thing that Guild Wars had the best is the die feature uh, I, my highest level character is a 10 so I could be totally wrong there could be some kind of die feature in the game that I don't know about but we'll see so here let's go back to my um, Oh shit. Come on. This is my hunter. Now, the hunter's actually pretty cool in this game. I actually really enjoy this hunter. Um, well, you're, you're a rogue. And that's the thing I like about this game so far. Is, okay, so you have your class. And then from that class, you have subclasses. So, right now, I'm a... Uh, am I a beastmaster? What the hell am I? Um... Uh, so here's your, I'm a ranger slash marksman, and I have one more tree I can get. So this is what's so great about this is, I'm trying to touch my monitor, oh, Jesus. Anyway, so here's your main thing. This is um, your class, and this is right now what I'm working on, and I'll probably put start putting points in here later. But the thing that I like is not only as you add points up in here, these start to get unlocked down here which give you extra abilities and stuff like that um, so I think that's really cool so you're not just a uh, a rogue you're actually just you can be a rogue in like a whole bunch of other choices 
Let me uh, let me go reset my skills. Um, so yeah, this uh, this game is actually a lot of fun. It's um, it's interesting. I'll give them that. I for some reason my graphic card can't handle it. It's uh, back probably about two months ago. I was gonna make a video about all these different little MMOs I was playing, um, and I had been playing a lot of. Uh, EverQuest 2 at the time, and I had gotten in the demo, or the beta for this, I think I was in like beta 4 and beta 5, and I just kind of stopped because I just did not like the feel of the game, and I think it, it was because that I came from playing so much EverQuest that the game was giving me a EverQuest feel, and I just was just like, you know what, I don't like EverQuest, and I didn't like this because I was having that EverQuest feel from it. So, um, go ahead, reset our skills. Oh, shit, that didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Well, fucking A. Anyways, never mind. <laughs> I was, thought I was going to reset my trees, like giving me my reset trees, which, god damn it. You could purchase a new roll, but you, you get three. If they're doing a bunch of quests, it'll unlock the third one. Um, god damn it. But that's another thing, too. It gives you, uh, when you choose something up in here where it says suggested, it tells you who to go with to help your class. And it does really help, because like on my on my mage, I went with um, Elemental, which is really weird, because everybody has a fucking pet. Like, my mage has a big rock guy. Let's go and go over to my mage. Lock out now, yes. Uh, let's see, how the fuck do I change servers? Is this it? Okay, here we go. Sunrise. Raw. And I bought the collector's edition of this, and I, I I wouldn't do it. I mean, I don't know. The mount is it's kind of retarded. <laughs> it's it's this. What the fuck is on me? This is the mount. Two head turtle. I like turtles. I mean, it's it's cool looking, I guess. But not really. Um, but like I said, here, here's my fucking rock pet, dude. God, these graphics are horrible. Yeah, he's kind of weird looking. Anyways, so with him. So here, I've unlocked these three trees. Um, and each one, you know. Have, uh, as you level up, I'm leveling up the, the fire one here, and uh, starting to put little points into other things like to increase my uh, chance to hit. I haven't really stuck much over here, but mostly just dumping everything into fire right now. But that's the thing I like is that even if I if I decide I don't like this, like if I don't like being a mage slash elemental person, I can go and pay. Uh, I think it, they said it was thirty gold. And redo the entire thing to come back as a necromancer or whatever. So it kind of gives you that option of not having to re-roll your class and uh, start over from the beginning. It's like, okay, well, you're a mage, and that's it. So if you want to be a different kind of mage, you just pay the gold, and you can change your uh, the kind of mage you are. I'm trying to see. And right now, it's... it's uh, I haven't joined a guild or anything, so I don't know much about the guild stuff. All this other stuff you get is uh, collectors. You get the bigger bag. You get some kind of bullshit that does stuff to your... Uh, puts an enchant on your... Um, uh, puts an enchant on your weapon, and you get this pet. Uh, shit, where the fuck is the character shit? Uh -huh. Oh, here we go. I don't really like the cast animations. I think they, they take too long or they're just goofy looking. Like, what the fuck is that? I know I'll tell you one thing. I probably won't be a pet collector in this game. Um, oh, and it has achievements! You can't, can't have fun without achievements. Yay! Achievements. I really just at the point where I don't care. Like, I, I really, that was the problem that pissed me off about WoW is I... I, I got myself in some kind of fucking achievement shit, and I was just doing stuff for achievements. Um, crafting? I haven't figured that shit out yet. Like, I, I picked up some crafting stuff, but I really just have not, 
done anything. Now, the thing with the rifts in the game are actually pretty cool. Um, they pop up out here every once in a while, and um, it's actually not bad. I mean, they're pretty easy to take down. I don't know if it's just because I'm a mage or not, but I've been in a couple where it's just me by myself killing a, uh, a level 7 rift, and uh, it was not bad. Here, let me show you some of the animation for this game. I mean, this is going to look terrible because my computer is terrible, so that's going to suck. Let's get my flame on. Some kind of weird circle thing that makes me do more damage if I stand in it, which is kind of cool. And I like the graphics on it. And I love how there's like a little arrow. Kind of reminds me of that, uh, was that mod? There was a mod that Blizzard banned because it was pretty much plain ICC for you. And, uh, go rock guy. Boom. Shit. You know what? Let me, let's see if this does not with, um, yeah, this is really bad. Let's try Ultra and see what it looks like. I don't know if my computer's not going to die. Dude, I love these little load scene graphics. Those are really nice. Okay. Shit. My computer can't handle this BS. I should just go buy a... Uh, I don't know. I was thinking about buying a new computer, but there really ain't nothing wrong with this one yet. You <laughs> can't do it. It's like, fuck you. Okay. Let's go back down to low. Um, so, the main reason I was kind of getting bored with WoW is just reading the patch notes and reading that individual, not individual, not indi oh my god, I cannot speak English individualism of your class which gives you uh, better abilities over other classes it's just they're just ripping that away from everything you know it was giving mages time warp giving uh um hunters time warp i mean just all these things and now they're gonna give warlocks and death knights to uh the ability to battle res i mean it's just it's just annoying. It's like, why roll a class when you just wait for Blizzard to just change it so you don't have to... Ma I don't know. It just, it's just at that point where it's just like, why play um, anything? Because within a couple of weeks, Blizzard might change it and give it to you in another class. So, I don't know. I have just been kind of bored of the game and really just... Um, trying like I, I would log on and I try to play and I just literally just stand around I was like you know what I don't really feel like doing these fucking dailies for the goddamn head enchant I don't feel like um, just doing anything I just really like the game itself just and I think a lot of it was that I leveled way too fast um, it's so fast it's, it's retarded how fast I was how, how fast you level with this expansion at least with Wrath, it took a little longer, it felt like, and you... I, I felt like you got to enjoy it a little more. At least I enjoyed it a little more. With Cataclysm, it's literally... All my 80s, except two, are, um... 85. I mean, I had just gotten my Shadow Priest to uh, Twilight Highlands, and it's like, well, I'll spend like tw an hour in Twilight Highlands doing a handful of quests, and I'll be 85, and it's just... then it's the grind all over. Um, of grinding the fucking instances and then crafting up some stuff to get into heroics and it's just it just the grind is just boring it's like this artificial um, stopper it's like everybody was always saying oh when wrath or when cataclysm comes out people will be uh, one manning everything down to uh, uh, until they're all dead and you know what they would have if Blizzard hadn't stuck in that artificial uh -huh stopping point like stopping people from uh instantly walking into a uh a raid or a dungeon with your group you know it's like oh no your eye level isn't high is it was just their way of stopping it i don't know it was just dumb and i just didn't i just I'm just annoyed of it like if I, if my guild wants to go to such and such instance and maybe take a low level a character that doesn't have that doesn't have the um that doesn't have the correct armor, that should be on us. So, I don't know. I, uh, I just don't care anymore. I literally just 
don't care. Like I, I, I got this game and I have not logged into WoW much. I haven't even cared to log in. Like usually I like, oh, I gotta log in and check shit. I logged in, checked out my mail, and just don't give a shit anymore. Um, just at that point, it's time for something new. Six years of WoW is just, uh, you know, you, you're gonna get to that point where you're just gonna get burnt out, and that's what happens. So. Anyways, I will be playing this for a while. I haven't decided on what server I'm going to be playing on, really. I'm just kind of, I guess, in limbo. So if you play this game and, and send me messages about joining my server, I don't know. I haven't really decided, and I'm not going to join a fucking server I can't pronounce. I swear to God, that was the most annoying thing about when I was, oh, come and play on such and such. I can't pronounce your fucking server name, you goddamn fucks. Uh, okay. Anyways, everybody, have a nice day, and... Until I can find a new, maybe a new crazy rift catchphrase, Akamaga.